had in read 8. Our lessons for today is about graphs of linear equations and two variables. An equation class in general form ax plus by plus c equals c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a, b are not both equal to zero is called as linear equation a to variables. And the graph of that linear equation is a straight line. So it can also be written in standard form, ax plus by equals c. So usually the values of a, b, and c are integers whose greatest common factor is 1. So if we're going to consider the following equations, we have 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. In standard form, this constant term is transposed on the other side. That's why this becomes 12. And these are the values of a, b, c. So we have 3, 2, and 12 for a, b, c respectively in the first equation. So y equals 2x plus 3. Now this y equals 2x plus 3 class is an equation written in slope intercept. So later you will know what's slope intercept. Okay. So but just to give you an idea, um the coefficient of x here is the slope of the equation, while the constant term here is the y-intercept. So the intercept here is referring to the y-intercept. So you learn about y and x and y-intercept in our last discussion. And y-intercept particularly is located along the y-axis whenever x equals 0. So when this is converted to standard form, so we'll get 2x minus y equals negative 3, okay? So it's always the, the coefficient of x is always positive when this is expressed in standard form. So this becomes minus y, we transpose y on the other side and 3 on the other side as well, that's y, negative y. So we have negative y and negative 3 here. So the values of a, b, c are 2, negative 1, and negative 3 respectively for the second equation. Now we have y equals 3. So this one is a constant um, linear equation, linear function that you will learn in the higher math. So y equals 3. And when converted to standard form, we have 0x plus y equals 3. And the values of A, B, C here are 0, 1, and 3 respectively. So if you have Y equals 3, we also have X equals negative 2. So the coefficients of Y here is 0. So the values of A, B, C are 1, 0, negative 2 respectively. So with this 1, since the 2, uh, since A, B, C have common factors other than 1, so this was reduced to X minus 2y equals negative 4. So the two equations here are equivalent. And um, this is obtained by dividing each of the numerical coefficients or coefficients by the common factor 6. So we got this. And a, b, c equals 1, negative 2, negative 4. Again, in the standard form, it's um, a requirement that the coefficient of x should not be negative. Now, we will concentrate in graphing linear equations into variables, okay? But some equations may have two variables, but they may not be linear. So here are some examples. So this one is not a linear equation because um, the exponent of linear equation must be 1 only. Since the exponent of the variable x is 2, so this is not linear equations in two variables, okay? Now we have 2 all over x plus y equals negative 2. 
um, there should be no variable on the denominator for this to be considered as linear equation. Likewise, xy equals 1 is not a linear equation. Now, there are three ways. I'm going to discuss three methods or three ways in graphing linear equation into variables. So we have using any two points, using the x and the y intercepts, and the slope intercept form. So graphing linear equation into variables using any two points. For example, we're going to sketch the graph of 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now, since we are using any two points, so let us assign x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Okay, so we will substitute this x equals 2 to obtain the value of y and this x equals negative 2. So if x equals 2, so we will substitute 2 to the variable x in the equation. So we have 2 quantity times 2 plus 3y equals 6. So we have 4 plus 3y equals 6. So we have 3y equals 6 minus 4. So we have 3y equals 2. So divide both sides by 3. So y is 2 thirds. So we have one point already. When x is 2, y is 2 thirds. And then the other one, if x equals negative 2, so we have 2 quantity negative 2 plus 3y equals 6. So this is negative 4 plus 3y equals 6. And then we have 3y equals 6 plus 4. Then we have 3y equals 10. So divide both sides by 3. So y equals 10 thirds. Approximately 10 thirds is 3.33. So we have another point negative 2 10 thirds. So, the next thing that we're going to do is to plot the points on the Cartesian plane. And you learn how to plot points on Cartesian plane last meeting. So, we will locate two two-thirds. So, from the origin, we will count two going to the right. And then two-thirds is from in between zero to one. So, we will divide this by 3. So, approximately, this is 2 thirds. So, this is now 2, 2 thirds. Okay. And then, negative 2. From the origin, two units going to the left. And then 10 thirds is again um, 3 and 3.33. So this should be here. Okay. Nabura yung point niya dito. Tsaka yung point niya dito. Oh my god. Wait. For a while.
So after plotting the two points, we will connect the points and extend from left to right. So we now have So this is now the graph of 2x plus 3y equals 6. So for a better sketch of the graph, you use your ruler for you to sketch the graph. So next is we will still make use of the same um, equation, but we're going to make use of a different method. And this one is making use of the x and y intercepts. So we know that the x and the y intercepts are the values of x and y whenever y and x equals zero respectively. So the x intercepts are located on the x axis while the y intercepts are located on the y on the the y intercept intercepts are located on the y axis so this is achieved by assigning values of x to 0 so to solve for the y intercept and assigning the value of y to 0 to solve for the x intercept so if x equals 0 we have 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. So we have 3y equals 6. Divide both sides by 3. So your y equals 2. Okay. So we have 0, 2. And then if y equals 0, we have 2 times x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. So 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals 3. So we have 3, 0 here. So we have 0, 2 and 0, 3. So 0, 2 is somewhere here while so this is 0, 2. 3, 0 is here. So this is 3, 0. So you connect the two points using a straight line for you to sketch the graph. There. So this is again the graph of 2x plus 3y equals 6. And then the next method is using the slope intercept form. Okay. And we're going to sketch to sketch the graph of the same linear equation. Now the so this is in standard form. So we will just have to convert this to slope intercept form. Okay, so this is y equals mx plus b. Where m here is the coefficient of x, which is also the slope, while b is the y-intercept. Okay, so isolating y on one side of the equation and transposing x on the other side of the equation so we have 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. So we will divide both sides of the equation by 3. So we have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Now this is the y-intercept. While this is the slope. Take note that m equals negative two-thirds. So the numerator would mean um, rise and this is overrun. Okay. So we have 
to plot the y-intercept. So when we say y equals 2 is the y-intercept. So we have one point already here. And this is represented by 0, 2. So we have 0, 2. And then from 0, 2 here, okay, Um, from 0 to, which is the y-intercept, we will count, we will move down by 2 if we will, if we're going to use the negative on the numerator. So 1, 2. And then we will run by 3 units going to the right. So that's rise over run. 1, 2, 3. So this is the other point. Okay. So, we're going to connect the two points. Oh. Mm -hmm. There. So, we're going to connect the two points represented by the slope and the y-intercept. So this is the graph of y equals 2x, or rather 2x plus 3y. Equals 6. Okay. So, take note that we have made use of different method, but we come up with the same graph. So, using the x and the y intercept, and using any two points. So, we get the same graph because we're using the same linear equation. So, using or sketching linear equations in two variables, um can be done using any two points, using the x and the y intercepts, and using the slope intercept form. So that's it for now, grade 8.